well. This is a Veterans History Project Oral History with Mr. Steve Melnikoff. Today is Saturday, August 15th, 2009. Steve, if you would, if you'd tell us uh, your complete name, uh, date of birth, and place of birth. Okay. My name's Stephen Melnikoff, and I was born in Woonsocket, Rhode Island, in November 28, 1919. And that would make you how old today? Um, 89 years old. You're 89 years old today. In a few months, I'll be <laughs> 90. In a few months, you'll be 90 years old. So, um, in your family, how, what, what's your birth order in your family? Where were you? Um... Well, I, I was the third child. The first child uh, apparently uh, didn't make it when they had the flu epidemic in the 19, whatever it was, early on. And I had an older sister, two years older than I, and I'm I'm the youngest. And you're the youngest. So you were uh, you were raised there in that town. Yeah, I, I spent uh, the first uh, eighteen or nineteen years in Woonsocket. I was born at home, and uh, uh, in Woonsocket, and that's where I went to school, grade school and high school. Graduated in 1937. Where did you go to high school? Where was it? Woonsocket High School. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, I graduated uh, uh, 1937. And I will say one thing about that, because it, uh, it, it meant something for me later. I had a very good teacher who uh, kind of took care of me. Her name was, I'll never forget her, because her name was Catherine O'Donnell. And when I was in the eighth grade, she kind of took me, I, th I think she was an algebra or a, an, an arithmetic teacher, and she guided me, and in the ninth grade, she convinced me to go and take the classical course. And it was kind of a shock to me because none of my friends were in the classical course, they all took a general course. but. Uh, what I found out when I went there, I didn't know any of the kids because all the kids were sons and daughters of uh, lawyers and doctors and whatnot, and I couldn't figure why I was there. But fortunately for me, that was a classical course, and I think it was an advanced course. And the one thing I really used to bug me is I had a very good English, good looking English teacher, but uh, while the other kids at Joe course did one classical report a year. We did eight or nine a year, <laughs> and she really poured it on us, but this came, this came to be very good practice for what happened later on when I went to school. The, uh, you're a, uh, a child of um, immigrants. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Yeah, my folks were Ukrainian, and they came over independent of one another, and one thing I am kind of a little sorry about is I never looked up their ancestry till just about a year or two ago. And I came to find out then and verified that my mother came over when she was 14 years of age. And she came over with another girlfriend from the same little town and they went to the same area in Rhode Island. And uh, I found out when I was at uh, Ellis Island that if you were younger than 16, they wouldn't let you come unless you came with your parent or a guardian. So a lot of the people just said they were 16 and so they were able to come. So I can't imagine, you know, how she would do that because she never saw any of her family again. My dad, he came over when he was 17 and uh, he remembered that he came over on a Maine and he left from Bremen. And when we looked up, we thought Maine was spelled like Maine in the United States, M-A-I-N-E. But then when we looked up and finally found him in the records, his name was different and the ship was Maine, but it was the German spelling of M-A-I-N. It was a German ship he came over. And they both came over on steerage. My mother came over from Hamburg. And uh, my dad told me that actually when he left, he was on the uh, other side of the border in Poland. 
my mother was on the, on the uh, other side. And uh, he, he had to travel about 700 miles in, in 1914. <laughs> Can you imagine that? And they had no automobiles then or anything. But he, he said he had to sneak over the border because he was getting close to draft age and everybody went in the army in, in Russia or Ukraine at that time. And he, he went just by chance to the same town in Rhode Island, Manville, and that's when they met my mother and they married later on. So it was from Ukraine, yeah. You, you, Ukraine. That Ukraine, yes. The Ukraine, yeah. Ukraine, Ukraine, I should say. And tell me, they spoke their native language, is that correct? That's right. They, of course, when they came over, they knew not a word of English, and uh, that's how the spelling of my name is Melnikov, because actually, my my name is a derivative of of Miller. Our, uh, in fact, uh, my father's aunt was a she ran a mill where they milled grain, and uh, that she was the person my dad borrowed money from to come to the United States. But when you go to Ellis Island and you don't speak English, whatever you tell them, you may give your name as Melnick. And they, and they will write it down in English with whatever it comes out in, and, and uh, that's the way it happened. But my mother, she came independent, and, and uh, uh, her name was uh, came out all right but, but because it uh, the spelling was easy. Her name was uh, Reiko. Her name was Anna. My dad's name was Andre. He told him his name was Andre, and they they spelled it A N D L Y. And that's the way he used his name for the rest of his life. <laughs> what did they do uh, for a career then again in, yeah. in Rhode Island when, right. they, when, when they were there? Well, uh, they went uh, in Rhode Island. There's a Blackstone River that runs through the, st through the state, starts in Massachusetts, goes out and into the bay in Providence. And all along that river were all kinds of uh, mills. Most of the mills were either cotton or Willen or Worsted Mills, because all the machinery was driven by water power those times and belt driven. And so my dad, he, he got a job as a laborer or a helper in a cotton mill, and so did my mother. And uh, my dad tells me that uh, uh, he was able to advance, because uh, the fellow that he had to supply material for would come in under the weather many times, and my dad would have to run his machines, and he showed him how to do it, and then after a little bit, my dad left, and then he said he could weave, and then he moved up and became a weaver. Later on, as years progressed, uh, he moved into being a weaver in a worsted mill, the material they used to make uh, suits out of, because that was more expensive material, they got paid more, and then he became a loom fixer, which is equivalent of a mechanic. He was very good with tools, pretty smart guy. Actually, he had some equipment that uh, that could have been patented so that it would make his job easier. He actually, my dad actually made his own uh, wrenches so that uh, he would have uh, an easier time with it. Hmm. In fact, uh, uh, he uh, had wrenches that were Three foot long, and uh, and and, <laughs> and he would uh, he was able to move up that way, and uh, he was a very good mechanic, and that served him his whole life. He rebuilt his own cars, his own engines. He was a very handy. He was a straight shooter from the word go. My mother worked in the uh, cotton mills, and that's where she spent her time. Between them, when she had babies, was after the baby we went to school. She, they both would work, and we were independent. And the one thing that I, and it wasn't just me; it was the whole area was similar people, different uh, nationalities. But most of the kids that I knew then all were first born Americans, and. We all learned the native tongue first, whether it was Italian or Ukrainian or Russian or Polish or French. And then 
then we learned English. So by the time we were in the first grade, we were fluent in two languages. That's good. That's good. Yeah. It's a, um, almost of necessity, too. Yeah. You know? Well, I think your brain gets trained, and it never occurred to me till later on in life how the minute we open the door to, to our home, we start speaking Ukrainian. When we open the door to go out, we started speaking English. And I don't know how the mind works that way, but it never was, uh, uh, you never thought of say, well, I got to start talk English now, or I got to talk Ukrainian. It just, it was just automatic. It was just the minute you open that door, that's what you did. Now, the, the schools that you went to and you graduated from in, in high school, you were taking a classical course in high yes, school? Yes, And what was your goal graduating from high school? Where did you, what did you think you would be doing? Well, I thought that maybe I could go to college, but when I graduated in 1937, it was in the depth of the Depression, and uh, there were no, no jobs around, or jobs are very few, mm -hmm. and uh, therefore I was not... Uh, I, I maybe could have gone to like a teacher, but I was not, I was not smart enough to do that. And so I remember most of the kids went to the CCC. I don't know if you know what a CC, but that's a Civilian Education Conservation Corps. Okay. And the kids went out and built parks and all yeah. over the country. And I really wanted to go, but my dad, <laughs> He, he, he wouldn't allow that. He you said, wouldn't allow it? Nope. He said, I had to find a job. And so... Was your dad working at the time? Did, did, did he... He was working on and off whenever he could, because mm -hmm. uh, at that time, uh, it was still, jobs were few, mm -hmm. and he might have been working part-time or just to work, starting to work a little bit. My dad was a very proud guy. He never would accept any charity. And uh, he had saved up money when earlier on, and... And even though it was a depression and people talk about it as sort of a bad time, I don't believe that we as kids noticed anything different. We just knew we were all the same. Uh, none of us had bikes. There were no radios around. There were, no one had cars. And, and later on, my dad did get a car. So it was kind of like everybody was in the same boat, so we, we didn't no notice uh, any difference. You're, uh... But, but my first <laughs> job... Yep. My first job was... 